Hey guys, my name's Jeremiah, and I get to lead the communications team at Crossroads Church in Noonan, Georgia, and serve other churches and businesses through JB Media Company. You're watching today because you want to help as many people in your area make the decision to visit your church on Easter Sunday. Some of you will have one service, and others will lead several services throughout the weekend. This can be a very overwhelming time for church staff, but it's also an exciting and highly rewarding time. It's my goal today to share a quick tip or two to help you achieve your goal in helping more people make the decision to visit one of your Easter services. Before we begin, I want to set the stage. I want to assume a few things. I'm going to assume that you have identified your target audience, and that you have created several pieces of marketing collateral, social media ads, invite cards, mailers, etc., all leading to your Easter landing page with one clear call to action. The call to action should lead them to a simple form that captures the person's name and email address. In my opinion, your call to action should either be plan a visit or learn more. And this leads me to what I want to share with you today, my Easter marketing tip. Here it is. Create an email nurture sequence. Well, what's that? What's an email nurture sequence? You see, it's a series of emails that help you lead your target to making the decision you want them to make. For retailers, it's a purchase, and for us, it's a visit. The sequence I want you to create contains five separate emails that will be sent daily after a person clicks your call to action. And it works really well when you automate these within your email marketing service, like MailChimp or Constant Contact. So why is an email nurture sequence necessary? The sequence you will create will help potential visitors eliminate as many hurdles as possible so they can feel as comfortable as possible when visiting your church. Think of it this way. You are their guide and the emails become their map to having an amazing visit at your church. So here we go. The first email you need to create is a welcome email. This email should thank them for subscribing and express your genu genuine excitement for their interest in one of your Easter services. I also think this is a great place to share some frequently asked questions and to help them overcome questions about arrival times, parking, kids check-in, and what to wear, things like that. The second email you'll create doesn't contain as much copy at all. You see, you will share a video from your lead pastor or someone on your team that visitors will recognize when they see that staff member on the stage Easter weekend. This is a quick video, literally, it's just a couple of minutes. The purpose is to allow potential visitors to begin to make a personal connection with someone on staff at your church. This video isn't so much about you and everything your church can offer, it's really more about the visitor and the experience they should expect to have. On day three, you'll send an email containing three to five testimonials from others who attend your church. It would be great to share testimonials from Easter experiences from years past. These testimonials will provide social proof for your church. You may already have these testimonials in the form of reviews on Google or your Facebook page. If you do, um, if, or if you don't, just simply ask a few members you know to share two to three sentences about their personal experiences with your church. Choose testimonials that talk about the friendliness of your community, the quality of your ki kids, teens programs, or excuse me, the quality of your kids programs and teens programs, and how engaging the communicators are. In my opinion, this is not the place to share incredible testimonies of life change with a bunch of spiritual language. Many potential visitors have little or no experience about church. They want to make sure that they will be safe and that their kids will be safe, and really that you're not weird. <laughs> The fourth email will be another video. This video is a sample message video or a full message video. Share a link with a little copy requesting everyone to watch an engaging message to understand what they can expect from your lead communicators on Easter. And here we go, the final email, the fifth one. It's a fun email. This is a thank you email and an email where you will offer everyone a free gift. The gift can be a coupon download for a free coffee from your church cafe when they visit. It can be a download of a recent book or ebook that your pastor released. Or it can be an invitation to stop by your guest services area during the visit and pick up a free coffee mug, book, mobile power pack, journal, or something else. Sky's the limit. 
there are a lot of great gift ideas out there. And that's it. There are about five emails you should create to help potential visitors plan their visit and have an incredible Easter experience. So, if you will let me, I want to do something else for you. I believe that this is very important and I want to make it as easy as possible, so I've already taken the time to write the copy for these emails. You can insert your church information and paste the email to your email marketing service or just use the emails as a template for writing your own. To get your hands on this tool, simply visit jbmediacode.net slash Easter sequence to download your copy. If you have any questions or would like to connect, you can find me on social at Jeremiah Bartlett, that's J-E-R-E-M-I-A-H-B-A-R-T-L-E-T, just one T, and on the web at jeremiahbartlett.com with two T's. I would love to learn from you too. Thanks for watching. Now get ready to meet some new people and make sure your hospitality team is prepared to give each person an outstanding welcome on Easter Sunday.